Hi, my name is Greg English. I'm a professional trainer here at Pro Fitness in Riverside, California. We've been training for the Mission and Run, 5 and 10K. And today what we're going to talk about is nutrition. Okay, how to eat appropriately to run and fuel the body to run a 5 and 10K. Okay, this phase of the training, we're talking about nutrition. And when we talk about nutrition with an endurance sport, we have to realize that an endurance sport takes fuel. It takes fuel to go the distance, whether we're biking, swimming, running, walking, doesn't make any difference. When we do an exercise where we have to utilize oxygen for a certain period of time, we have to have the proper amount of fuel. And one of the best fuels for an endurance sport is carbohydrates. Okay, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates simply are broken down into two segments. We have simple carbohydrates, we have complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are basically starches and sugars, okay? Your sweets, your cakes, your pastries, cookies, ice cream. These are simple carbohydrates broken down very quickly in the body. And the other carbohydrates are what we call complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates are a very good source of fuel. They're like pastas, bread, rice, okay? Broken down slowly in the body. But all carbohydrates are broken down into glucose, okay? Which is broken down into glycogen and stored in the muscles in the liver. Okay, the muscles utilize this as energy. Once the muscles run out of glycogen, the liver supplies the working muscles with the rest of the glycogen. But once that is used up, then the body converts over to utilizing fats. Is fats good? Yes, we body, the body does need some fats. I know a lot of people want a low fat, high carbohydrate diet or low carbohydrate, high protein diet. You know, what we want to do is just simply eat normal. You know, you want about 65% carbohydrates, 20% protein, 15% fats. Proteins, very necessary. Where do we get proteins? Proteins come from meats, dairy products. Okay, these are proteins. What protein does is rebuild the muscles. After we've trained hard, after you guys have been out there and you're running and you've, you've put in the miles and you've done the training, the body has to rebuild itself. And it does this through protein. Okay, so we need to eat sensibly. Uh, doesn't mean that we have to be very strict, oh, I can't have any sweets. No, you can have some sweets, yeah, you can. But just try to eat good and make sure that you keep the body fueled. You don't want to really do a lot of dieting while you're training hard, especially for an endurance sport like this, because the body definitely needs fuel. Okay, everybody got that? Yep. yep. All right. Okay, everybody, we just learned about nutrition how to eat and fuel the body to run for an endurance sport, five or 10 Ks, even up to the marathon. Now, where we're going is we are going to take you into another phase. Join me next week. You will learn another great tip.